Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. Today is 4th of July. I have literally been at orchid maintenance all day and part of last night to be honest. I got on a little kick yesterday and I just kept the good times rolling so sorry I didn't film a lot of it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remount these orchids. We have both of our dendrophylax orchids. These are our leafless ghost orchids and they definitely need a little bit of a facelift. This one is on cork which is great but it's a little bit junky, it's got a lot of algae on it, and what I worry about is being that these are leafless orchids, they do photosynthesize through their roots, and I do not want that algae to spread and coat the roots. If you notice, these roots are growing away from the mount, and I really would prefer if this orchid would attach. I think it'll grow a lot stronger if it does. So we have a nice, fresh, gnarly piece of cork, really cool looking, it's got some uh, lichen on it and whatnot, oh, a loose piece right there. But um, anyhow, it's got some cool lichen on it and everything else. We're going to go ahead and put some Spanish moss on it, kind of to match its cousin over here. And we're going to go ahead and mount it up like that. I've already got the mount made, but I've got to still extract that off. This is the Dendrophylax Fawcettii that we got from Louisiana Orchid Connection a little bit ago, a few months back, I guess. And I am going to go ahead and take it off of this cedar plank and it's going to go on its own nice piece of cork as well. So we're going to just move the Spanish moss that's on there over. I think that's plenty. I think it looks just fine and it's growing pretty well. It looks really cool with the orchid and I really do think it helps give the orchid just a little bit more hydration which is why we're going to use that for this as well. So I'm going to get this out of the way. We're going to go ahead and start with this one. I feel like it's going to be a bit easier to work with and that's what we're going to do. So let's get the uh, tag off here, stapled on so we've got to pry it off. Let's cut this fishing line and see if we can get this orchid off. Now, I have been waiting to do this because I am so nervous. <laughs> I mean really nervous about this, but I'm hoping that we've got some luck today and that everything is going to be okay. We're going to take our razor blade. Again, I've been hot and heavy all day, so we're going to give it a spray of alcohol. We're going to make sure it's free of any other debris and weird stuff from other plants that we've been mounting and unmounting. And we're going to go ahead... And we're going to start looking for the roots that are attached. And we are going to gently pry them off. <coughs> so this here is one. This has a growing tip on it, so we want to be real careful. The reason I use a razor blade is often you can get in underneath the bark. And I mean, I will cut the bark. I will do anything I can do to preserve that root. I do not want to lose anything on this plant, which is why, again, this is one of the most nerve-wracking remounts I've ever done. So I will be doing this surgery literally nervous about everything I do here. Get it underneath it. Oh, look at that. It lifted right off. Whew. Thank goodness. See, it really wasn't attached that well. Just that one root. It left one behind, but that's definitely a dead root. So, as you see, there's just all kinds of gunk. I mean, just nasty algae and stuff on this. And that's not good for a leafless orchid, for sure. So, this is going to go uh, somewhere else. We might be able to clean that up, but anyhow, 
let's take a look at it it has just a smattering of oof, looks like sphagnum moss oh no it's coming apart oh there's two plants okay Scare the life out of me. Score, so. Maybe even three plants. But I am so happy I pulled that off of that damn sphagnum moss because that is not what this thing needs. It does not want to be wet at all times. And I think that's probably why. It's growing away from the mount. It's really unhappy. I was hoping that was one plant, but... Whew. Okay, breathe. <laughs> Anyhow. So, there is one, two, and three plants. These two are by far strongest. This one has a root, and we are just going to hope to God that we can make this thing happy. We're going to put this in a much drier spot, but it's just... it's sad. Let's go ahead and get our mount. This actually is going to work out. I'm kind of happy about this in a way. So I've got this section of Spanish moss that we pulled out, and it's just individual long strands. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and drape them on vertically. Hope you guys can see that. Oh, the babies. All right. So we're just going to drape them on there first. I want to put these on before I put that orchid on. I want that orchid to be over top of this. I just want this to be able to grow and I want it to provide just a hint of extra moisture in the wet dry cycle of these plants. Spanish moss, oh, smells so good, I don't know if you guys know, but it really does have a great fragrance to it. So that's that. We're going to go ahead and take a nice section of line really nice section of line actually because we have a lot of time to do. We're going to tie our surgeon's loop. Make our little lasso. and get under this mount. So I'm just going to go over a few times just to get this Spanish moss secured on there. set something on the line so it holds it for us. I'm going to take this little sad one I'm going to put it up near the top I'm going to take this piece here and nestle it in just a little further down. And I'm going to take our final piece here. And I'm going to put it on a little further down yet. We're just going to wind our way back up very gently. 
there is nothing to these plants, so they don't need to be really cranked down into place. They just need to be held, kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So again, gentle wraps, just to hold it in place a bit. So we're going to go ahead and find our tie-off point. Most of this is probably off camera, I just realized, so forgive me. But we've got our little V. We're going to go ahead and feed our line through. And go ahead and tie this plane off because it is done. So this is another orchid, now it's finished, I think it looks great, it's so much better. Um, this is another plant that I'm shamefully going to go ahead and take complete responsibility for. I, uh, I know better than to leave anything and I went against my instinct and I got nervous about a plant that I, I was otherwise, you know, just fearful of and all I had to do was get it off that old mount that old hunk of junk get it onto something to make it happier and I might not be in this situation I don't know if that was one plant I hope it's three plants but we're gonna go ahead and keep an eye on it again we have active roots growing on these two this one has one so I've got three sections of this dendrophylax um, this is um, sorry but we're going to go ahead and get this moved over to its new mount, and we'll go take a look at both orchids, and hopefully, um, yeah, go from there. This is just going to lift right off, I can already tell you. So, this has been recently mounted. Um, probably when it got sent out to me, which is awesome, so, or right before. So, I know there's multiple pieces here of the Dendrophylax Fawcettii. And we're just going to extract them all and get them separated. Four and five. I think that's it. Yep. That is it. So, let's go ahead and get our fishing line ready. So, get our line on one side of us so we're not walking on it when we're trying to wrap, because that's annoying. We're going to go ahead and spread this moss out on this mount. It's healthy. It's different than what I have. It might be a different species or whatever, but I don't know, a different variation, but it is different. It's finer. Maybe it's just younger, who knows. <coughs> so, again, we'll do uh, several wraps just to get this stuff fastened on. And then we're going to go ahead and set these plants. So one is going to live here, I mean that is a nice one, that's healthy. So we spread our, our plantlets out, and we're just going to go around gently and try to get over each one make sure it's secured gently to this moss on the or to this talantia on the mount perfect look at that so again we're going to find our V I 
like to use my tweezers because it's easier than fiddling with your fingers. That is our Dendrophylax Facetii on a nice piece of cork, and I just think that looks a whole lot better, don't you? So, let's go ahead in the room, and let's check up on the other one that we missed, and get an update on both. So, we are here in the grow room. I just gave these guys their first post-mounting water, lots of cow mag, and kelp. And I just think that looks a whole lot better, don't you? I'm going to go ahead and put these back. I'm going to wrap up this video now, and I do have another quick video I'm going to shoot today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And that is Dendrophylax orchids, leafless ghost orchids, being remounted with Spanish moss. If you're in the States, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. I do appreciate all you guys for watching. Keep it safe. And until next time, happy growing.